very quickly welcome to this video um, right in this video you're going to see two pieces first piece is going to be me explaining the process of how I go into painting pieces uh, I'm not going to go into colors I'll do that in another video maybe the next video basically pick some spray paint obviously chuck it in the box um, emulsion that's important for what colors you pick but I'll talk about that in another video so subscribe if you want to watch that um, so yeah that's it that's all I need let's go all right so obviously this video is aimed at beginners uh people who just don't know how people paint graffiti pieces so safety first i've got a mask i've got some gloves so that's important to protect yourself um so yeah first job is to emulsion the wall apologies to the guy that i'm gonna paint over um I don't know if he watches my videos, probably not. Um, so yeah, very simple emulsion, roller tray, nine inch roller and a roller pole. Obviously when you first start out in graph, there's a bit of investment in terms of like setting yourself up with all the kit, but it's not exactly that expensive. And once you've got it, you've got it. Uh, as you can see, I always reuse the roller sleeve. I'd never take it off. Between painting, I just wrap it up in a plastic bag and keeps it fresh and it doesn't dry and go all crusty. So, yeah. So, first up, I've got to roll this wall because you want a nice, clean canvas to paint on. It's pretty cold today. So, I made up a little mix at home. I generally always use grey because all the colours I have are mixed together to make grey all the time. So I just end up using grey a lot. So on a nice surface like this that's been painted a lot. And this has actually recently been redone. This is all like falling apart last time I was here. But anyway, um, yeah, on a nice surface like this, emulsion goes a long way. So you get a lot of coverage for using a small volume of emulsion. But if you're painting on like a fresh concrete wall with no other paint on it, then um, it's, uh, the emulsion is going to soak in a lot and you're obviously going to need to use more emulsion to cover the same area of wall. So I know it's probably really boring watching this for all my more experienced and probably regular viewers. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd make a video like this because why not? The next piece in this video, the second piece, is much, much better. Um, I'm actually quite proud of it, to be fair, but as I usually do, I look back at the photos and I think to myself, it could have been so much better, really. But still, it's all about developing, pushing, going forward. So yeah, it's all good. Right. I think you get the idea of how you emulsion a wall. It's pretty straightforward. Regular people who don't do graffiti probably know how to do this from painting at home. What makes things a lot more efficient is actually having the roller tray right next to you rather than walking back and forth like an idiot. Right, let's cut to the outline, which is the next step in this process. All right, the only bad thing about using emulsion when it's freezing cold is it takes a long time to dry, which isn't ideal. If you put it on too thick and it doesn't dry, then you find your spray paint kind of just soaks into the emulsion on the wall, which isn't the best. Um, so yeah, bear that in mind if you're painting in colder conditions. Um, I don't think it's gonna get above five degrees today, centigrade. Um, Right now it's about two, so it's pretty cold. So, the tools. Caps, loads of different types of caps. Skinnies, fat caps, whatever. Just try and stick to like one or two. Um, probably two really. Fat cap filling, skinny cap for outlines and sketching, all that stuff. I also use a night quill. I'm one of those type of people. Some people don't like them, I believe, because they think it's, I don't know. But I couldn't really give a shit. I just do my thing. 
so um, yeah I use a NyQuil um, right and then right sketching up generally people just use one colour but what I like to do is use all my scrappy cans to use them all up and not waste any paint so you'll probably see about a million different colours for my outline but if you do do that to make it easier so you know exactly which lines you want to use you can go back around with one colour afterwards when you know exactly which lines you want to fill in but that's the next process the next step in the process is filling in right I also use cap cleaner because that saves a lot of caps right so you need a skinny cap for sketching up a nice simple universal cap um, what are you gonna do? That's that's not that scrappy. Let's use that one. I'd usually wear a mask, but because I need to talk, I'm not gonna wear a mask right now, but I probably will when I'm filling. And right, easiest way to put night quill on. Put the can between your legs and use two hands and make sure it's properly seated onto the top of the valve system so I prepared a sketch at home earlier well not this morning but the other day um, and basically what I do is rather than bring my sketchbook down here and I don't sketch digitally so I just sketch on paper very simple paper, pencil, rubber once I'm happy with the outline I go around it in a black pen of some description um, and then do whatever 3D or drop shadow or whatever and then I just take a photo of it and I bring my phone to the wall, obviously. Um, so today I'm actually painting a sketch for a guy that comments on my videos quite a bit. Uh, I believe it's Lycus1. Um, I hope I've got that right. Um, so yeah, today I'm going to paint a sketch for him. Um, if you are new to Graph and you want me to paint a piece for you, then just drop a comment, just put your tag in there and I'll pick one of them if I get more than one and I'll paint it in my next video. So uh, yeah, anyway, let's go. Let's get this outline done. Ooh. Cap's a bit blocked. Um, is that probably too high? Nah, it'll be alright also it's a good idea to kind of try and scale your piece of the wall um, kind of try, try and you know work out in your head the L is going to go there I is going to sit in between K roughly in the middle somewhere there and there's going to be a U there and there's quite a big S so that should work roughly It's always good to stand back every so often and just try and, you know, take it all in. The only problem with this wall, it's not perfectly smooth. It's kind of curved. This uh, piece of wood has come detached and it's bowed out a bit. So not perfect, but it's all good. Another little trick with these night quills is you'll find on some cans they kind of rotate on the top of the valve system where you clamp it onto. Um, but what I've done is I've put a bit of tape on, um, a bit of masking tape, which actually helps quite a bit. It like, gets a little bit more friction so it doesn't spin so freely. Uh, this can's probably a bad example, but some of them where the, this is kind of quite an old night quill. So, it's really quite, I wouldn't say loose, but it's not as tight as it used to be. So just giving it that extra bit of friction with the masking tape really does help. Um, kind of tightens up the diameter as well. Right, helps if I bring my phone with the sketch. I use a bit. Yeah.
It'll do. Seem worse. Rotate it a bit. Alright, I need to take a step back to check that out. Yeah. There you go. I think that is it. That's the sketch done. Just got to add some bits in, some little droops. there and another one somewhere here so here we go these are the fill colors i suggest if you're new to graph just stick to just one color and just one color for the outline just keep things simple don't go too crazy um, with loads of colors because it just ends up looking like a mess if you don't have experience um, and haven't kind of found your style yet um, i see too many people that would pretty new to graph and they just stick tons of colours in a piece and it just looks a bit shit. I think it's better to kind of just concentrate on letter form and you know develop in that sense rather than trying to get all technical with different colour schemes and all that stuff. Um, so yeah I'm just going for a simple fade. I might put some inserts in but we'll get to that at some point. Um, I'm going to wear a mask for this because you don't really want to be breathing in loads of this shit and I'm also going to use a fat cap. Um, it'll be a pink dot an old one that's been used before but because i've been using cap cleaner it should although what this one doesn't look like it was actually cleaned yeah that will do perfect right i like to start with the darkest color first and that's going to go at the bottom and it's just going to fade upwards through those colors so that color will be at the top this will be at the bottom and it'll fade up I'm sorry to all my experienced and experienced uh, viewers. It's probably quite boring, but as you've seen in this uh, this year's videos, well, the first video I've done so far this year, I put chapters in. So if you don't want to watch all this crap, you can just skip straight through to um, a better piece, which is the next piece in this video. If I don't go paint later on today, that is, if you get my drift. I confuse myself sometimes. Right, pink dot, fat cap. Right, next up is outline. I'm going to use pink. A good idea, I think it is. Yeah, pink, simple pink with a drop shadow. I think easy. I think right, not gonna use a fat cap, we're gonna use a skinny cap. But before we put that back, let's do it a little clean, keep her fresh for the next time. I don't know whether I'm gonna use that cap, it's a bit rough last time, it wasn't quite. Yeah. Throw that one away. Get a fresh one. That's a fresh one. So, boys, remember to give your cans a good shake. Right, here we go. So, the outline you want to get as crisp as possible and right first time, preferably. You don't really want to be coming back to a. Uh, fix things up if you can help it but sometimes you have to do cutbacks so but that's something you learn along the way hey there you go outline pretty much done i'm going to thicken up a few little bits and bobs um, certainly not my cleanest can control but um, you know, here's what it is. My hands are freezing. That's part of the problem. Yeah. Um, right, now I'm going to put some white highlights in because 
I think that'll make it pop a bit more. So I need to use white. I think I brought white. I hope I brought white. Yes, I did. I can see some white. So there's lots of different ways to do highlights. Um, I like to kind of make my highlights suit the piece. So kind of thin white lines that aren't actually touching the insides of the letters. Um, just off a little bit. I like them. So they're definitely not the cleanest lines, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring them into the drippiness. So, hopefully it just doesn't balls it up anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I think that works. Right, maybe I overdid it a little bit with the white, but I had a lot of fun with it, so that's the main thing. Right, now I'm going to put a border or a band or whatever you want to call it, um, probably in a very similar fashion to the white. I'm going to use a blue. I might even use a second darker blue, but we'll see. Um, Probably should have done the white last, but oh well. I'm kind of mucking out the sequence in this video a bit, but um, we'll see how it comes out. Um, right. Yeah, I think that'll look cool. It'll work. We'll make it work. Strategically, I've got to drop a few of the fill colours into the piece and give it the old drip effect. Drip effect? Drip, of, drip effect, if I can talk. Ooh, drippy. Oh no. Oh well. Fuck it.
All right, now. Just go, I want to get a few more drips in there, because why not? There you go, that's it. On to the next piece, which is so much better than this one. But anyway, like us, hope you like this piece. Um, if anyone else wants a piece painted for them, just drop a comment, tell me your tag in the comments. Here we are again. All right, so background sorted it's going to be the same dark grey as the last piece that I used emulsion with if I talk today um, right so mask gloves caps straight in the back of the car that's packed right so what do we need today? Caps, mask gloves, don't forget them. Um, right. So, plenty of cans that I use for sketching up. Should be enough between them. Right. Um, in this video, or this part of the video, down there, roughly where it came from, and there, organised chaos. Um, don't really, yeah, do that. Right. do that pink couldn't I? I'll put it back. That'll be perfect. Um, and then we wanted blues for the background which I'm going with these blues. Um, They actually the same. They look different. No, they are supposed to be the same, but they do look different to me. Weird. And then those two. And then another two blues. Some light blues. I'll just take that one too. Um, and then for the outline, I want something quite bold, not those. I think. Kiwi. 
any more kiwi kiwi dark and they're different Four. Yeah, let's go Kiwi Dark. Scrappy one. Take that. And take some fluoro, because we all love a bit of fluoro. Right, don't need that many fluoros. Scrappy on, ah oh, yeah, that reminds me, I need to clear up my scrappy cans. Right, ah, yeah, we need some yellow. I think that is it, that is all we need. Take some white just in case. White is always handy. Got some black in there just in case. Right, that is all. Perfect. Right, pack it up and go. It's going down.
So, there we are. That is it for this video. Um, for anyone who's new to my channel here, um, you found my video because you want to learn how to uh, paint pizzas, um, then please subscribe to this channel and also drop a comment and tell me your tag and maybe I will paint it in the next video. Um, so yeah, to my more experienced viewers, I hope you find the timeline chapters um, helpful within my video um, so you can navigate to the second piece, uh, which is probably more interesting for you. Um, so yeah, that is it for this video. If you haven't subscribed, then please subscribe. Um, drop a comment, tell me your tag. Maybe I'll paint a piece for you in the next video. And um, like this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.